After nearly a year on the market, Ryan Seacrest cut the listing price of his Los Angeles home down by a whopping $10.5 million. He bought the mega mansion from fellow TV host Ellen DeGeneres back in 2012 for $39 million and considering he lives in Manhattan most of the time now, he put it on the market for $85 million back in 2020. The home is massive but still has charming details like elegant wood beams and neutral colors, making it as homey as can be. Over on the East Coast, Ryan's luxury townhome boasts 9,500 square feet of space and features like a master suite which takes up its very own private floor. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Currently the highest paid host on TV, Ryan Seacrest reportedly earns over $10 million for hosting Live with Kelly and Ryan, also the most watched talk show during the pandemic. When he is not on camera, he also works as an executive producer with credits that include keeping up with the Kardashians. All of his success thus far has provided Ryan with a net worth of over $450 million according to Forbes, so it's no wonder he can afford some insane rent costs in New York City. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer back with another exclusive house tour here in Famous Entertainment. This one, checking out the homes of Ryan Seacrest, including the Beverly Hills compound he has on the market. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit me up on Instagram to chat. Now let's get into this video. Since Ryan has been hosting Live with Kelly and Ryan for a handful of years now, of course he spends most of his time residing on the East Coast, where filming takes place in the heart of New York City. He's been living his best life since moving here in 2017, residing in a massive Manhattan townhouse nearby his co-host Kelly Ripa. And reportedly, well, he pays $75,000 per month in rent. This stunning home offers 9,500 square feet of space along with 6 beds and 6 baths throughout. He has given fans a look inside such as the time he posted a video doing jumping jacks at home stating at home workout using stuff in the kitchen, fighting calories with calories. While the space is big enough for more than one, Ryan lives there alone at the moment as he used to share the home with his ex-girlfriend Shayna Taylor. After they broke up for the third time, she decided to pack her bags and move out. However, he seems to be enjoying the mansion just fine on his own. The former couple always loved the open kitchen in Ryan's New York crib because they were always cooking a lot of meals. He said in 2018, Coming from California, we had a lot of space, so we like it for that reason. We also like it because it's an open room, so you're never separated. One of us could be watching something, one of us could be in here, and you could still talk and feel like you're connected. While life away from LA and its sunny weather was a bit of an adjustment for Ryan, he grew to love it after a few years in the city, probably thanks a lot to his luxury home with features like a rooftop garden and six wood-burning fireplaces. His Upper East Side townhouse was reimagined by Michael Chen Architects with the mission of building a brand new structure inside a 19th century mansion. The house was built in 1879 but finished the major renovation just before Ryan decided to call the place home. It's located in Lenox Hill, just a block from Central Park and close to its place of work. Some of the townhouse's standout features include Ryan's exclusive master suite which spans the entire third floor, the rooftop terrace with garden and seating, and an elevator that services all six floors. In total, there's about 11,000 square feet of indoor and outdoor space combined. It's an eco-conscious townhouse which used locally sourced materials and work by local artisans to craft the beautiful home. There are also 15 zones of energy efficient climate control and the gardens are tended to by automatic irrigation systems. The home is entered at street level with the foyer boasting a custom sculpted ceiling and black limestone heated floors. This floor also has a south facing kitchen decked out in white oak, marble and top grade appliances. The parlor floor has a combined formal living room and dining room along with a large pantry and offers nearly 1,500 square feet of entertaining space with 12 and a half foot ceilings. The Emmy winning host has fitted the living room with a rust colored couch and the space also boasts an eye catching stone wall. Fortunately, his couch is big enough for his dogs as well. The third floor master suite has a luxe bathroom that spans the width of the home, a dressing room with morning kitchen and a private terrace. 
Up on the fourth and fifth floors, you'll find the guest rooms, as well as a casual living room with full wet bar and custom skylight. A glass penthouse structure opens to the rooftop garden, which also offers a full outdoor kitchen and grill. At the height of the pandemic in 2020, Ryan converted his Lux townhome into a full-time work-from-home setup. Not only did he host season 18 of American Idol from his living room, but he also led ABC Disney's family sing-along from the comfort of his own home on more than one occasion. He even added some Disney touches to his house for the event, including a vintage Disneyland sign and Beauty and the Beast figurines. Fans can certainly count on Ryan to truly commit to each of his jobs, whether it's decorating his house or wearing a crazy costume. In 2021, after eight months on the market, Ryan dropped the price of his Beverly Hills home by $10.5 million, making the new asking price $74.5 million. As it stands, he hasn't sold the Mega Mansion yet, but if he does sell at this amount, he stands to make a major profit. He bought this estate way back in 2012 off of Ellen DeGeneres and Portia de Rossi for $39 million and listed it in 2020 for about $85 million when he started living in New York City full time. While the mansion is no doubt massive, it still manages to retain charm and warmth thanks to understated accents throughout like reclaimed teak beam floors, wood beams, and neutral colors. During Ryan's time living here, he redesigned a lot of it and made the interiors a lot more inviting. Not to mention, he reportedly spent another $2 million purchasing an adjacent Adam property. The mansion is located in a super private and prime section on its own street in Beverly Hills, behind gates of course, and on over three acres of land. It's one of the grand resort-like compounds in the area with five structures set among gardens and water features, also perfect for indoor-outdoor living. The modern property features a main house covering 9,200 square feet and two guest houses or studios, adding up to a total of 15,000 square feet. There is even another full detached three bedroom guest house on the property. There were nine beds and 11 baths throughout, and Ryan's home had every amenity you could think of, as well as state of the art security. The gourmet kitchen opens up to outside and an outdoor pizza oven, perfect for enjoying the LA weather, while the living room offered 22 foot high beam ceiling and a fireplace. And that's just the beginning. Ryan's estate had a home movie theater, a spa, a world-class gym, games room, and even a bar lounge space. His one-time master suite boasts its own meditation garden for him to relax, and the serenity continues outside, where there are gorgeous ponds and gardens. The grounds overlook amazing city views in the Los Angeles basin, and of course there was a swimming pool out back. In fact, the cherry on top was definitely the view of LA you got from the nearby pool house. The landscaping and greenery added to the feeling of tranquility at the property, even with the many amenities and its grand size. It's like a beautiful painting. You can't help but notice its beauty. Realtor Kurt Rappaport of West Side Estate Agency had said about Ryan's home and continued, it's perfectly proportioned and it's set in the middle of incredible gardens. It just has a great calming feeling to it. While there was even a fire here a few years ago that caused significant damage to his home, it has since been fully repaired. All right, now we've taken a look at the homes of Ryan Seacrest, both in New York and LA, so that wraps up this house tour. What did you guys think? Is that mega mansion worth almost $75 million? How about his New York City townhouse? Well, from the price tags on both those properties, we know that Ryan doesn't even have to worry about that. Be sure to let me know which of the homes you would prefer to live at down in that comment section. Thanks for checking out Ryan's homes with me. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.